I love when people doubt me. Like, seriously, I love when people count me out. I love when people say that I can't do something. I love when people seriously, like, pretty much, like, tell me, like, you will never be anything. I love it all. Why? It's because it gives me all the fuel that I need to prove them wrong. And not only prove them wrong, but to prove to myself that I can and I will. Because a lot of people in this world will, will doubt you, count you out, and say that you won't be anything because of maybe like mistakes that you have made or your upbringing or just you as a person, right? But what they don't know is that you can do anything you put your mind to. Anything. Only thing it takes is a little bit of discipline. But where my discipline comes from, when people say that I can't, I done had so many people say, man, like you're crazy for quitting your job. You're crazy. You're crazy for making content your nine to five. What about your benefits? What about your insurance plan? What about your 401k? I heard it all, literally heard it all. But what did I do? I went against the grain and I did what was best for me. What I knew what was gonna make me go to the next level. I didn't listen to the naysayers. I didn't listen to family and friends that was telling me a whole bunch of negativity. I did what was best for me and now look where I'm at. But if I would have stayed in myself and I would have listened to what everybody else had to say, I would have been stuck where I was. I had to come out of my comfort zone. And a lot of y'all that's watching this right now, you get so used to being comfortable to where you feel like if you do something uncomfortable or you do something that's out of the ordinary, people are going to point fingers at you and laugh. Newsflash is people are going to point fingers at you regardless of what you do, regardless of how far you make it, regardless of who you are. People will always have something to say. But that's the only fuel that I need. Please doubt me. Please count me out. Please tell me that I'm not going to be anything because I'm going to give you every reason why I, I can and I will. I'm going to give you every single reason why. I'm going to prove it to you and I'm going to prove it to myself each and every time. Like, don't let people keep you away from your destiny. Don't let people shy you away from being a better you. Because at the end of the day, when you finally win, those same people that was doubting you, will be the same ones that need you. I promise you that. The same ones that was doubting you will be the same ones that need you. And that's family, friends, loved ones, associates, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend. People will come out of the woodworks the moment that you make it. Oh, but they was doubting you. They were saying that you wouldn't be anything. They was telling you what you should have done. Those would be the same people that got their hands out waiting for you to feed them. The same ones. That's why it's always good to take a chance. Bet on yourself. You are the number one person that you should be betting on yourself at any given moment, any given day, because people will, 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 will keep you away from your destiny and keep you from doing what's best for you because of what they think you should be doing for yourself. Go against the grain sometimes. Take a chance. Take a risk. Because with no risk, there's no reward. But you will never know what that reward feels like if you never bet on yourself, if you never take that chance. Like you seriously would never know. Like if I were to listen to what family had to say about me making decisions that I made, man, I would be stuck where I am, to be honest with y'all. To be honest. And like I said, some, some, you know, some people are, they're right sometimes. But majority of the time, you know what's best for you. You know what you should be doing and you know uh, what, what is best for you and your life. You're the only one that knows that. Don't doubt yourself. Let them doubt you. Let them count you out. But don't you dare doubt yourself. Don't count yourself out, man. Don't do it. Even though things might get hard sometimes, things might not go your way sometimes. But do not count yourself out. I'm telling y'all, you have to take a chance. If you don't take a chance, you would never know what it feels like to have everything that you prayed for. You would never know what it feels like to finally win. You would never know. If you stay exactly where you are and you stay in your comfort zone and you don't take a chance, you would never know what it finally feels like to win. Like I said, some things are better said than done. It's better said than done. You don't have to, to, to announce what you're doing to people. You don't have to stick your chest out and say, oh, I'm going to go do this and I'm going to prove y'all. You don't have to do anything. Move in silence. When they see it, they'll see it. 
But a lot of people that you might tell your visions to, a lot of people that you might, you know, tell your accomplishments or what you got planned, they're going to go against the grain. And that's going to take your mind to a place of like, oh, well, I don't know. Should I should I take a chance? Should I do this or should I should I, uh, you know, listen to what they got to say? Like you never know how much poison a person can put in your mind just by their negativity. You never know. But you as a person, you have to be the person that wants to change, that wants to take a chance. You have to make the choice to make a change in your life. Because the moment that you win and you actually take that chance and the naysayers and the doubters and stuff like that, I'm telling y'all what I know, man. They're going to be the same ones that's congratulating you front row and center. Oh, that's my cousin. We all know those people. We all know him. We all have him. Oh, that's my little brother. I knew him since he was four years old. I always believed in him. No, you didn't. You believe in me now because I made it. You believe in me now because I went against the grain of what you said and I actually made it something out of myself. You believe me now, but you didn't believe me then. Right? We all have those people, the ones that swear they, they, they was the reason why you made it across the finish line. We all have them. But what you have to know is stay humble. Regardless of what they say, regardless of what they do, stay humble. The biggest thing that you can be, the bigger person in the situation is remaining humble regardless of how people treat you or regardless of them doubting you. Just remain humble through it all. And for the people that, that, that doubted you, they'll know. They'll know. And how will they know? By you being silent. You don't have to react to every single action. Seriously. But the moment that you discipline yourself and you actually go out here and you win, man. Man, watch how many people just come out of the woodwork and just congratulate you and hey, big head you and want to be a part of your winner circle, want to be buddy, buddy with you. But they wasn't with you doing the struggle. Nah. <laughs> come on, man. They wasn't with you doing the struggle. The only thing they see right now is that you win it. But they wasn't with you shooting in the gym, as Drake said. They wasn't with you. But they swear up and down, man, that, hey, man, I, I knew what you went through to get here. They would swear up and down that they was with you from the jump. Those same people, literally these same people that was doubting you, that was counting you out, that was saying that you wouldn't be anything and that you wouldn't amount to anything, they would be the same people with their hand out ready to shake your hand when you finally win. And that's the crazy part about all this stuff is that, man, people act like they were with you from the jump. They will act like, man, I remember when you wasn't anything. But now I look at you. But those are the same people that was doubting you, right? They was the same ones turning their back on you when you called, but always needing you for something. They'd be the same ones. And the crazy part is, is just like you can be so humble and respectful about it. And the moment that a person can't benefit from you winning, they will act like you are nothing. And that's the crazy part is that people are leeches. Literally, they're leeches. And they feel like, man, if I can't suck you dry and take the blood from you and take your energy, I don't want anything to do with you. I promise you what I know because I've been through it. I'm not telling y'all anything that I haven't been through personally. The moment that you win is the moment that they're going to be grinning and smiling and cheesing in your face telling everybody how they know you. The moment that you win. And me personally, like I'm, I'm a person of being humble about it. I'm going to be humble. I shake your hand. And I'll forgive you, but I will never forget. OK, it's OK to forgive the person how they treated you or how how they doubted you and how they said that you wouldn't be anything. But. Never forget who was with you from the jump when you were struggling. Who was with you from the beginning when you were trying to get to where you were trying to go. Never forget. You can forgive, but you will never forget. And that's on the real. Because a lot of people will swear up and down, man, that they treated you like a goddess or a god when you were struggling. When you were trying to find your way out. When you were trying to figure out a way. 
So that's why, like, regardless of anything, regardless of who I talk to, or regardless of who you are, I stay humble because you never know, you know, who you're talking to or, you know, never know uh, if you might need that person one day. And even though, like, when it comes to me not doubting myself, when people doubt me, I still be there for them. I still give, you know, everything that I got to people. The same ones that doubted me. And I'm sure you the same way. Like some people that doubted you in your life, you want to turn your cheek and you want to cuss them up and down because of how they treated you when you were struggling, when they was doubting you. But it's just the humble bone in your body that's just like, man, I, I'm going to let you have it. I'm going to let you rock. I'm going to let you think whatever. But I remember when you, you know, didn't believe in me. I remember. So if you made it this far in the video, all I want you to do is drop in the comment section is, I believe in me. I believe in me. Put that in the comment section right now. And make sure that if they doubt you, you don't doubt you.